Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Last spring I published a series of videos where I used sea moss in skincare products that we made from scratch, like cold process soap, melt and pour, skin cream, and also body wash. So today we're gonna to be revisiting sea moss, and I took a lot of your requests and your suggestions. A lot of you have been asking if I could make a body butter or a lotion with sea moss, and I do have the sea moss facial cream, which I'll go ahead and link in the description box below. But today we're gonna to be making a sea moss thick cream. Some of you might be wondering, what is sea moss and why would I wanna add it to my skincare routine? Well, sea moss is basically a seaweed that can be harvested and then dried in the sun and then rehydrated and turned into a gel. Once it's turned into a gel, then you can consume it in small amounts. And people like to put it into their coffee, teas, smoothies, applesauce, and things like that. And the reason for this is because it's packed full of vitamins and nutrients that your body needs, like vitamin A, vitamin K, potassium, magnesium. It's supposed to help boost your immune system and keep your gut really healthy. More recent studies have shown also that if applied topically to your skin, it can have really good benefits as well. It's antimicrobial, it's antibacterial, so it's gonna help with acne, oily skin, but at the same time, it's very good at skin balancing because it's very hydrating and it's a powerful humectant. It is also full of collagen, which as you know, when we age, our body kind of loses its ability to retain and hold on to collagen. So any way we can get it by ingesting it or adding it to our skincare routine is a really good idea. So sea moss is full of collagen. So today we're gonna be making a thick lotion cream with some beautiful purple sea moss. And I am gonna be showing you in this video how I put this cream together and exactly how to make it. If you're interested in the full written recipe with percentages and a full written detailed tutorial, please head on over to my Patreon campaign. I will have this recipe available at the $5 level. That one $5 pledge will not only unlock this recipe, but it will unlock all of my recipes from the last two and a half years, including all of the sea moss recipes that were published last spring. There's a ton to take advantage of over there, different tiers to take a look at that have different benefits. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in the description box for you so you can head on over there and check it out if you're interested. All right, let's make some sea moss lotion. Okay, so before we get started, it's really important to note that we are making a lotion and lotion, it can grow bacteria super easily. So you just wanna make sure your entire workstation has been cleaned and sanitized, including anything that's gonna come into contact with your product. You can do that with a 5% bleach and water solution. So today we are using some raw wild purple sea moss and it's been wild crafted. This is a company that I got it from is called Elderwise, but I did find it on Amazon. And I just think the purple sea moss is a beautiful color, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and use today. So we need to go ahead and process the sea moss. And so basically what that means is we need to clean it. It does come with bits of sand. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. We do need to go ahead and clean it, and then we're gonna cook it down and kind of render it down into a really soft, um, consistency. So right now it's like a dried out kind of purple seaweed. And what we want to do is just rinse everything off really, really well. As you can see, it's got little bits of like dried sand and salt and things on it. So we just want to make sure that we're rinsing this off very, very clean. You can do that under the tap. And then we're going to be warming it and cooking it down with fresh distilled water and I'll show you what that looks like after I'm done cleaning this off I'll bring you over to the stove so you can see what it looks like to cook this down okay so my sea moss has been completely rinsed cleaned and now we're ready to go ahead and cook it down I have more than enough sea moss in this pan to make this recipe so I'm just going to be cooking this up and then saving the rest of it for another project you can freeze it or you can use the gel um, to consume it like we talked about before. So I am using some purified water and this really, I haven't even measured any of this out. I'm just using a little handful of sea moss and then I'm taking my water and I'm gonna make sure that I'm using enough water to cover the sea moss like so. And that's all we're really gonna need. You can eyeball this part 
you really just need to make sure that you're putting enough water in there to cover the sea moss. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn on the stove. And we're gonna turn it down to like a medium low. We're gonna let this simmer. You really don't need super hot water to get this to cook. You just need it to simmer for about 20 minutes or so until the sea moss starts to kind of break down. And I will show you what that looks like as we go along. Okay, so the sea moss has been cooking down now for a few minutes and I just wanted to show you what it starts to look like when it's breaking down. So as you can see, it's not as stiff as it once was, it's rehydrating and we are gonna give this a few more minutes just to break down even further, but as this is cooking, it is releasing collagen and minerals into the water. So for this project, we're gonna be using both the water and then when we process the gel, we're gonna be using the gel and the water in this cream for maximum benefit. So I will bring you back when we're ready for the next step. Okay, so the sea moss is now all the way completely warmed and cooked through, and as you can see, it's just very soft. Um, we are going for a very smooth lotion type consistency, so it's important that this just gets very soft before you remove it from the heat. Now, we're gonna go ahead and strain the sea moss water into this container, and we're catching the actual sea moss in the strainer. So we are gonna be using both the sea moss water and the gel. So what we're gonna be doing is taking the actual sea moss and we're gonna be putting this part into a high speed blender to create our gel. And then we are gonna be using this beautiful purple water that I'm collecting down here as part of the water for our lotion. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up very smoothly and I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, so I've transferred the sea moss gel into this blender and again, this is just an eyeball measurement. We're not measuring any specific amount of fresh spring water, but we're just gonna be putting enough water in there to help blend this up until it's smooth and that's gonna create our gel. Okay, so we have collected our sea moss gel and our sea moss water, and if left to sit to room temperature, this will completely turn into a very thick gelatinous texture like jello, and this will also turn into a very thick gel. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside and get ready for the next steps. So we're gonna be weighing off the rest of the ingredients that we need here for the project. So first thing we're gonna do is weigh off the water for this recipe. So again, some of my water is gonna be this actual sea moss water. So this is gonna be part fresh water and part sea moss water. So we're just gonna weigh off the fresh water first. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and weigh off the heated oil phase. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna add to this beaker here is some shea butter. Now we're using shea butter for its gorgeous hydrating properties. It's perfect for dry skin, it's healing, and it has a really nice skin feel in lotions. Perfect. And then to the shea butter, we're gonna be adding in some grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil has a lot of antioxidants in it, and it also has a really nice skin feel. It just glides very, very nicely. So we're gonna be using grapeseed oil. It is a lightweight carrier oil, but it feels substantial. So we're gonna be adding in our little bit of grapeseed oil. And then to the grapeseed oil, we're gonna be adding in some jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is gonna help with the skin balancing 
it is another lightweight carrier oil it's a luxurious oil it's very very close to our own skin makeup so it does help with the skin balancing properties and then the next thing we're going to be doing is adding in the emulsifiers and the thickeners now this took me quite a few tries to get the ratio right because when you add sea moss gel and sea moss water to a lotion type product it gives it a really nice light kind of whipped texture and sometimes that can make it feel a little less substantial so it took me a minute to get all of these ratios exactly where I wanted them to be um, it does absorb quickly this lotion which is nice when you're putting it on your hands and things like that so we're going to go ahead and add in some polo wax now polo wax is the emulsifier that we're using today however you could use just a regular generic uh, emulsifier that would work fine it doesn't have to be polo wax i like the way the polo wax feels but regular between this one and a regular generic emulsifying wax there's really kind of an undetectable difference and then to this I'm going to be adding in some cetyl alcohol cetyl alcohol is going to help to thicken this product and it gives it a nice silky skin feel it's a gorgeous um, a gorgeous product to add to your lotions and creams because it just has such a nice silky almost kind of a powdery silky finish but it absorbs really really nice and it also helps to thicken up your products there we go and then to the acetyl alcohol and all of the other ingredients in here we're going to be adding in some stearic acid and this is also going to help to thicken up the product i'm going for a very thick kind of lotion um, and the stearic acid also helps lower the pH just a little bit. It gives it some thickness and it also has some really nice skin conditioning feeling, a nice skin conditioning feeling to it. Now we're going to go ahead and heat up this mixture along with the water we're going to do that over a double boiler until everything is roughly the same temperature we don't want to get much higher than the 170 degree range because we don't want our um, shea butter to turn grainy in this product and then when we come back we're going to be adding in the sea moss water to this water and then we're going to be making our cream so i'll bring you back when everything's melted down we're ready for the next step all right so everything has been warmed up and heated through and now it's time to go ahead and add our sea moss water to our distilled water so we're going to go ahead and weigh that out now so the sea moss water has had a chance to cool down a little bit while we've been weighing everything out so we may need to bring this back up to a temperature that's closer to the temperature of the warmed up oils and it's giving it a nice purple color although it's probably not going to show through the finished product at least in my small test batches it doesn't really show through so I will show you um, what we do with that but we're going to go ahead and take the temperature of this real fast okay I'm going to go ahead and pop this back onto the double boiler until I'm closer to this temperature which is right around the 155 range 160 range and then we'll be back to go ahead and combine ingredients okay so these are now ready to go ahead and combine so we're going to go ahead and pour our waters into our oil and then we're going to use a high 
speed immersion blender to go ahead and get this completely emulsified. Let me show you what that looks like. And we're going to go ahead and stick blend this for a minute or two until everything is well combined and then we're going to add in the sea moss gel. Okay, so it's been blending for a few minutes. It's still quite thin as you can see, but it's got a nice emulsion and it's starting to thicken up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and weigh off the sea moss gel and then add it. We're going to add it into here and then get it all blended up. Okay, and then the rest, the re rest over sea moss here, you can reserve for another pro project. You can go ahead and add it in the freezer or put it in a mason jar and consume it over the next week or so. So we're just gonna take our blender and blend it all up and make sure it's all well combined. Okay, and then also, as you can see, we've got a really, really mild purple tint to it. It's mostly white because the ingredients in here are so opaque that it's gonna be hard for that purple to show through. You could just leave it this really, really nice, light, very light tinted purple. However, I'm gonna enhance this a little bit right now with a little bit of Lilac Le Balm colorant. Just a few drops to enhance that light purple that we have going on. Okay, so we're gonna allow this to cool. We're gonna come back in every few minutes and just continue to stick blend it until it gets nice and thick. And then we're gonna be adding in some preservative and fragrance in just a minute. So I'll bring you right back when we're ready to do that. All right, we're ready to go ahead and add in the fragrance and the preservative. So I am using a fragrance called um, Viva La Juicy. This is by Nature's Garden. It's got a very uh, kind of fruit and floral mix, which is one of my favorite types. Um, you could just use lavender essential oil in here or leave it fragrance free if you like. So we're going to go ahead and add in a little bit of fragrance. Okay. And then to this we're going to be adding in some preservative. And I'm going to be using a pipette here for the preservative. And we're using a preservative for a couple reasons. We have an oil and water mix. And as you know, that can create a, a situation where bacteria can grow super easily. So it's really important that you use a preservative anytime you're making a lotion or water and oil product. And then the second reason we're using a preservative is because of the sea moss gel. It is considered a food product, so you wanna make sure that you are using a preservative when you make your lotions with it. We're just gonna take it and go ahead and get this nice and blended up. Okay, so as you can see, my mixture is getting thicker, but it still has a long way to go. So we're gonna go ahead and allow this to set up. And then I'll bring you back when you can see the final texture and we're ready to go ahead and put it in the containers. Okay, so the body cream has had a chance now to set up to room temperature. And I just wanted to show you the consistency of it before we package it up. So it's a beautiful, thick, creamy consistency. And that sea moss gel and water really give this body cream structure and texture. It gives it kind of a lightweight and bouncy, airy feeling as well. It's really, really nice in lotions and creams. So we're gonna go ahead and pipe this into our containers. So I'm gonna bring you back to show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pipe this body cream into these low profile eight ounce PET containers. They have a very wide opening and I just think they look very stylish. I did get these on Amazon. 
we're just going to go ahead and pipe the mixture in. Just has a very nice, luxurious fluffiness to it. Isn't that gorgeous? I cannot wait to show you guys how this works. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of a use demo. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and try out this lovely cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like to apply to your skin, but I also wanted to kind of show you the texture of it. I don't know if you can see, it has a little bit of a bounce to it. And that's just from the sea moss. It gives it a little bit of structure and kind of like a bouncy consistency. So it, you really don't need a whole lot, but I'm gonna pick up a little bit here so you can see and just put it into my hands. And it has a lovely silky finish, really, really creamy. But yet that sea moss, it absorbs and sinks in. It gives it a lightweight and airy, almost whipped consistency. So it just goes right in without leaving any white streaking on the skin. It absorbs very quickly and it feels very silky to the touch. I think you're really, really gonna like this cream and I hope that you do try it. If you do, please let me know. I'd be really interested to see what you think of this and how you like it. All right, everybody, that concludes today's video. I hope you really liked it. I hope it inspired you. If it did, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Please leave a comment or question below and consider subscribing to my channel. Catch you on the next video. Bye. Keep shining.